Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about factoring polynomials. And we are focusing on common monomial factoring. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So to factor polynomials class, the thing that we will do is for the numbers, you need to find the GCF, the greatest common factor. And for the variable, just select the variable with the least degree, the variable with the least exponent. So let's try number 1. 10x squared minus 15x. So equals, so for the number class, you find the GCF, you think of a number that you can divide that number by 10 and 15. So what would be the greatest number class that we can divide that number by 10 and 15? Of course, there would be 5, right? Because 10 divided by 5, that is 2. 15 divided by 5, that is 3. So the GCF of 10 and 15, that is 5. Now for the variable class, just select the variable with the least degree, with the least exponent. Of course, this is x because x here has an exponent of 1. So, we will be selecting x. Alright, and then you put parentheses. So, this will be the GCF for the numbers 5 and for the variables is x. Then you divide plus 10x squared divided by 5x. So, 10x squared divide 5x. So, for the variable class, if you divide the variable, you simply subtract. Exponent here is 1. So, 10 divided by 5 is 2. Then x squared divided by x, you simply subtract plus. This will be x raised to the power of 2 minus 1. This is equals to x. x raised to the power of 1 or equals to x. So the answer is 2x. 2x. Then next, 15x divided by negative, uh, sorry, negative 15x divided by 5x. So negative 15x divide 5x. So negative 15 divided by 5, that's negative 3 x divided by x simply cancel. So that's the answer for number 1 class. Easy, right? For number 1. So the answer is 5x quantity 2x minus 3. So if you check your answer by distributive, distributive property, 5x times 2x, that would be 10x squared. 5x times negative 3, that's negative 15x. Therefore, your answer is correct. Alright, that's the answer for number 1 class. So let's try number 2. Very easy for number 1, right? Let's try number 2. 8x raised to the power of 4 plus 4x cubed minus 10x squared. So once again, you select a number, the GCF, that you can divide that number by 8, 4, and 10. Of course, the GCF, that would be 2, right? We Can, can we select 4? For 8, we can divide it by 4. And 4, we can divide it by 4. But 4, we cannot divide it by 10. 10 divided by 4 is a decimal answer. So therefore, we cannot select 4. So therefore, we select 2. So the greatest common factor of 8, 4, and 10, that is 2. So 2, then for the variable, you select the variable with the least degree, with the least exponent. So that would be x squared. So 2x squared. So that would be our GCF. Greatest common factor of 8, 4, and 2 is 10. Uh, sorry, 8, 4, and 10 is 2. And for the GC, for the variable, the, the variable with the least degree, this exponent that is x squared. Then you put parentheses, then you divide plus. So 8x raised to the power of 4 divided by 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. Then for the variable x raised to the power of 4 divided by x squared, simply subtract 4 minus 2, you still have x squared. Or let me just write it here, 8x raised to the power of 4 divided by 2, x raised to the power of 2, 8 divided by 2 is 4 x raised to the power of 4 divided by x squared, simply subtract the exponent, so you have x raised to the power of 2. x raised to the power of 4 minus 2 is the same with x squared. So that's how you divide plus the variable, simply subtract the exponent. Alright, so how about this one? 4x cubed divided by 2x squared, so 4 divided by 2, positive 4 divided by 2, that's positive 2 x cubed divided by x squared, you still have x. So x cubed divided by x squared, that would be x raised to the power of 3 minus 2, subtract the exponent. This will be x raised to the power of 1 or x. So 2x. Alright, 4 divided by 2 is 2, x cubed divided by x squared is x. Plus negative 10 divided by 2, that's negative 5. Then x squared divided by x squared, of course that is cancelled, that is 1. So 5, the answer is 5. If you distribute this one, you will get the same answer. 2x squared 
times 4x squared. So that would be 2 times 4 is 8. Now, if you if you multiply plus the variable with exponent, simply add the exponent. So that would be x raised to the power of 4. So 2x squared times 2x. 2 times 2 is positive 4. For the variable, you simply add. So add the exponent. Sorry, copy x. Then 2 plus 1, understood that there's 1 here. 2 plus 1 is 3. Then last, 2x squared times negative 5. So 2 times negative 5, that's negative 10. Then copy x squared. You will get the same answer. So this will be our factor. Alright, so number 2, that would be 2x squared, 4x squared, plus 2x minus 5. Let's try number 3 class. So number 3, 36, okay, let me write it here, 36x cubed, y raised to the power of 6, minus 63, x raised to the power of 5, y raised to the power of 7, plus 18, x raised to the power of 4, and y raised to the power of 5. So what would be the least number that you can divide that number by 36, 63, and 18? Of course... That would be 9, right? We can, the GCF of 63, 18, and 36, that would be 9. So this will be 9. Alright, 36 divided by 9, you can divide it. 63 divided by 9, yep, that is 7. And 18 divided by 9, that is 2. So that's 9. Now for the variable class, you check the variable. x cubed, x raised to the power of 5, and x raised to the power of 4. So we select the variable with the least exponent. So that would be x cubed. For y... So we have y raised to the power of 6, y raised to the power of 7, and y raised to the power of 5. So therefore, y raised to the power of 5. Alright, and we put parentheses. Then you divide plus. That's easy for the common monomial factoring. You divide. 36 divided by 9, that is 4. x cubed divided by x cubed. Of course, that's cancel. It would be 1. So cancel x cubed. And then y raised to the power of 6 divided by y raised to the power of 5. That would be y y is the power of 1 or y. So let's divide plus for you not to be confused. Alright, 9x cubed, y is the power of 5. So 36 divided by 9, that is 4. x cubed divided by x cubed, cancel. So that's why you don't have x cubed anymore. So y is the power of 6 divided by y is the power of 5. So you, just, you still have y raised to the power of 1. Subtract plus 6 minus 5 is 1. So you still have y, 4y. Right, that's how you get 4 away class. Alright, so next, negative 63 divided by 9. That's negative 7. Then x raised to the power of 5 divided by x cubed. You still have x squared. 5 minus 3 is x squared. You still have 2, x squared. Then y raised to the power of 7 divided by y raised to the power of 5. That's y raised to the power of 2. So I hope you get this one class. Let me just explain this so that you will not be confused. Divide 9x cubed, y raised to the power of 5. So 69, negative 69 divided by 9. Uh, sorry, negative 63 divided by 9, that's negative 7. x raised to the power of 5 divided by x cubed. So you subtract the exponent. So this will be x, you still have x. Then 5 minus 3, that's 2. For y, so 7 minus 5, copy y, then subtract the exponent. 7 minus 5 is 2. That's why you have this answer. Alright, let me just answer this one. Last one is directly. So, 18 divided by 9, that's positive 2. x raised to the power of 4 divided by x cubed, you still have x. Okay, 4 minus 3 is 1. So, you still have x raised to the power of 1 or x. Then, 4 y raised to the power of 5 divided by y raised to the power of 5, cancel. So, this will be our answer. Alright, that's the answer for number 3. Easy for number 3, right? Okay, so let me write the answer here. We don't have enough space class, so just just copy the answer for number 3. You pause the video and this will be the answer for number 3. Okay, so let's... We don't have enough space class, so we will just not put the answer for number 3. Just pause the video class and this will be the answer for number 3. So let's try number 4. We're done with number 3. Let's try number 4. 7x squared y minus 14 x y squared plus 49 x squared y squared so what would be the least okay number 
that we can divide that number by 7, 14, and 49. Of course, there would be 7, right? We can divide 7 by 7, 14 by 7, and 49 by 7. So 7 for the number. Okay, 7 for the number. How about the variable class? So we have x squared x and x squared, so we select x. And for the variable y, y, y squared, and y squared, so we select y. The variable with the least exponent. Understood that there's one here. Alright, so this will be our factor. Then, we put parenthesis. So, 7x squared divided by 7xy. So, 7x squared y divided by 7xy. So, 7 divided by 7 is 1. x squared divided by x is x. y divided by y is cancelled. So, you still have 1x. Or you can just actually put x class. That's the same with 1x x is the same with 1x. Understood that there's 1 here. So, x. Then, this one. Negative 14xy squared. Negative 14xy squared. Divided by 7xy. So, negative 14 divided by 7. That's negative 2. x divided by x is cancel. y squared divided by y. You still have y. So, this is negative 2. Then, y squared divided by y, you still have y raised to the power of 2 minus 1 or y. Subtract the exponent less. This is 1 here. So, 2 minus 1 is y raised to the power of 1 or y. So, we still have 2y. Then, plus 49 divided by 7. So, 49 divided by 7, that is 7. So, let me just divide it for you not to be confused because there are some students that they are confused in dividing this one so let me do it manually so 49 divided by 7 is 7 x squared divided by x is x you still have x because 2 minus 1 is 1 so you still have x raised to the power of 1 y squared divided by y is still y so you still have 1 y raised to the power of 1 or y so 7 x y all right so that's your answer class for number 4 so, you pause the video and that's your answer for number 4. I think it's easy, right? Just for the variable, for the number class, just find the GCF. And for the variable, you find the variable with the least exponent. Alright, let's try number 5. Let's try number 5 and number 6. Then you try number 7 class. Let's check if you really understand the topic. Then you put your answer in the comment section down below. So, number 5, 18 x raised to the power of 5 minus 4x cubed plus 2x squared. So what will be the least number that you can divide it by 18, 4, and 2? Of course, there would be 2, right? So there's no other number greater than 2. So if we use 4, 4, we can divide it by 4. But 4, we cannot divide it by 2. Because 2 divided by 4, you will, you will get a decimal answer. So the GCF is 2. So 2... For the variable, we select the variable with the least degree, the least exponent, so that would be x squared. Alright, so that would be our factor class. Easy for number 5, right? So this will be, so divide, so once again, you select the GCF for number, that is 2. For the variable, you select the least degree. Then you put parenthesis. So 18x raised to the power of 5 divided by 2x squared, so 18 divided by 2 is 9 x square x raised to the power of 5 divided by x squared you still have x raised to the power of 3 okay let me just explain that manually so that you will not be confused so 18 divided by 2 is 9 x raised to the power of 5 divided by x squared so subtract the exponent plus this will be x raised to the power of 5 minus 2 so you still have 9x raised to the power of 3 9x cubed all right and then this one Negative 4 divided by 2, that's negative 2. x cubed divided by x squared. x cubed divided by x squared, you still have x. 3 minus 2 is 1. x raised to the power of 1 or x. And then last one. 2x squared divided by 2x squared. Of course, 2 divided by 2 is 1. x squared divided by x squared is cancelled. So that is 1 plus 1. Alright, so that's the answer class for number 5. Easy for number 5, right? So, we're done with number 5. You pause the video for the answer of number 5. Okay, let's try last one. Number 6. So, 8. X raised to the power of 4. Y raised to the power of 2. Z raised to the power of 6. Minus 28. 
X is to power of 7, Y is to the power of 2. Now check for the number, what would be the greatest common factor of 8 and 28? That would be 4, right? Because you can divide 8 by 4, you can divide 28 by 4. Okay, so 4. Then, for the variable x, they have the same x. So, for the variable x, simply, okay, simply copy the variable with the least exponent. So, this will be x raised to the power of 4. For the variable y, copy the variable with the least exponent. So, that's the same, y raised to the power of 2. So, you can factor this out by y raised to the power of 2 because they have the same variable with the least exponent. For this, for z class, now this first term has z and the second term don't doesn't contain z. So, therefore, we cannot factor this out by z. Z. By z, sorry. But you cannot factor this out by z. So, do not do anything on z. Alright, so divide this one. Okay, divide. So, once again, do not factor this out by the variable z. Because the first term contains z, but the second term doesn't contain z. We can only factor this out by the x variable and the y variable because they both have contains x and y. Alright, so this will be our factor. Then you divide. So 8x raised to the power of 4, y squared, z raised to the power of 6, divided by this one, 4x raised to the power of 4, then y raised to the power of 2. So you divide, 8 divided by 4 is 2, x raised to the power of 4 divided by x raised to the power of 4 is cancel, y raised to the power of 2 divided by y raised to the power of 2 is still cancel, and then 8 divided by 4 is 2, for z raised to the power of 6 you simply copy, z raised to the power of 6. So 2, z raised to the power of 6. Alright, and then this one, negative 28 divided by 4, that's negative 7 x raised to the power of, okay, let me just write it here for the students not to be confused because there are some students that they are confused in dividing this one. So, negative 28 divided by 4, that's negative 7, x raised to the power of 7 divided by x raised to the power of 4, subtract the exponent, so you still have x cubed, and for y squared, cancel. So, this will be our answer, negative 7x cubed, parenthesis. Alright, that's the answer. If you distribute this one class, you multiply, you check your answer by distributive property. 4 times 2 is 8. x squared, x raised to the power of 4 times none, so copy, x raised to the power of 4. y raised to the power of 2 times none, so copy, y raised to the power of 2. z raised to the power of 6 times none, so copy. Then 4 times negative 7, that's negative 28 x raised to the power of 4 times x raised to the power of 3, you add the exponent, x raised to the power of 7. When you multiply class, you add the exponent. Then y raised to the power of 2 times none, copy, and you get the same answer class. Okay, so that's it class. You try to answer number 7, and you put your answer in the comment section down below. So that's it class. That's how you factor polynomials common monomial factoring. So once again, I hope you learned something new today class. If you like this video, do not forget to subscribe, you share it to your friends class and to your classmates so that we can help more students and more people. Okay, once again, this is teacher MJ. Do not forget to answer this one, the number 7, and you put your answer in the comment section down below. So once again, this is teacher MJ. Good luck and keep fighting. Bye-bye!